Hi guys, uh, my name is Enoch X and uh, we're doing a Bible series, uh, Bible lessons uh, called um, Core Bible Lessons uh, and it's the, also called the teaching of uh, Yeshua, uh, the mind of Christ. Um, the reason we call it the teaching of Yeshua because Jesus commanded us in the Great Commission to uh, go to uh, all nations and teach others all the things that He has commanded us to do. <coughs> Therefore, uh, we cannot claim that we are disciple of Christ until we know um, what Jesus or the Lord Yeshua teach. And uh, we cannot teach other people, uh, can, we cannot make disciples if we ourselves do not know what the Lord te teaches. Uh, now, English is not my second language, it, it's not my first language, it's the third language. Uh, I, uh, I learned English in Greece and, and uh, moved to Australia. Um, so, I have been uh, given the gift of uh, being able to understand the Bible from the Greek language and so I'm going to share with you uh, from the Greek language and uh, we study together okay uh, we up to Matthew chapter 7 we're going to study all the red words in the New Testament first and then we're going to study the rest later uh, but first focus on the teaching of Yeshua uh, you cannot know how the Lord Yeshua think uh, we not, cannot know his mind, his heart, until we know uh, what he teaches. Okay guys, we go straight into um, Matthew 7. Me uh, Krinata, do not judge, in a me Krithiti, so that you do not be judged. Uh, a very short word, do not judge, so that you do not be judged. Uh, judge not, uh, or you will be judged. All right? uh, so, um, do not judge. That is a very direct uh, command from our Lord. Okay, when you judge, you're giving yourself um, the right to be higher than other people. When you judge, you thinking you are right and other people are wrong. Uh, so we are not to judge other because the Bible say, for the same measure that we judge other, and we'll be judged. And that's actually the next verse. Okay, Emoga Krimati, Krimata, Krithisista. Like the same measure that you judge, you will be judged. Uh, the the same judgment. Sorry, the same judgment you, you judge, you will be judged. And the same metro, the same measure, uh, and or metro, that means the same measurement. Uh, metrita, you, you measure people. Uh, metrithesis, uh, metrithesis, that you will be measured. Uh, you mean, yeah? Okay. T de plebis to kafos to... Sorry, let's move on here. Verse 3, T de plebis to kafos to ento of than mo to other fushu. When you see um, the. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get the English word for that. Uh, the speck, okay? Uh, in your brother eye, why do you look? Uh, T, why, why do you see, you look um, at the speck uh, inside, the, inside the, uh, the eye of your brother? Um, in the meantime, in day and to so often more in your own eye, the uh, con, who cut on the whole blank, and you do not cut uh, on, you do not uh, know, you do not understand. Okay, the word cut on is here. Yeah. 
that you do not comprehend it. That means you do not see. But it's using the, the, the word here is like you do not com comprehend. Okay. Uh, it was a risk. Okay, was for it was a risk to uh, the first two office equivalo to cover X to a famous two. Let me take out the spec out of your eye. Okay, do it the first end of the muscle. Yeah, and, and here there's the plank in your your own eye. Okay. Hypocrita equivalent proton to actual refusing to come. That's mean hypocrita uh, mean um, you hypocrite, right? Uh, equivalent uh, proton take out first out of your eye to often muscle tin to come the plank and then get other. Via blepsis, you can see through equivalent to cover x to of the mutual other fusion. Mean then you can see through and you can take out the speck out of your brother's uh, eye. Okay, uh, six. Me dote to ion this kissing do not give the holy thing to. The, uh, the dogs. Uh, me validate to margaritas, imon, and prostant of Chiron. Do not give your pearls uh, in front of your the pigs. Me pote catapatisusin aptus and disposin aptu ke strafendus rixosin man. Otherwise, they will trample on the uh, with their uh, feet. Uh, and they will turn around and tear you to pieces. Yeah. Okay. A sick knock. Now, uh, we talk about do not judge. Uh, in in terms of don't be hypocrite. You first we need to see um, our own problems, our own uh, defects. Um, short falls um, before we can look at other people uh, so that and then uh, the next one saying do not give the holy things to dogs uh, because different perception of value right uh, so uh, they will just uh, uh, trouble on it so Judgment, right? Even though if you meant in good terms, you meant to 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 for good thing to change your brother, but sometimes they don't value it, and not only that, they're gonna use the same the turn against you. So even if you know the holy things, uh, do not uh, give that to the dogs. Right, uh, so that different perception of values. Okay, so just be careful. Okay, we move on. Uh, verse seven. Okay, uh, ask, seek, and knock. A tite has mean ask. The this they mean ask, and it will be given to you. Z uh, tite seek. Get every day. That means uh, you will find it. Uh, Create not can negate the I mean. You see here that we use that as a um, a verse, a uh, key verse. Um, but not many times we apply it. Not all the time, right? Um, Jesus said here, the Lord Yeshua said here, that if we ask, uh, it will be given to you. Uh, you remember the verse God say, the Lord say, uh, the reason you don't have it so far because you don't ask, you don't uh, ask in His name, right? 
And of course, another thing, you don't ask according to God's will, but for your own things, then it won't work. Okay, but generally, when you ask correctly, it should work, because it's a promise from God. Uh, it's a promise that if you ask, uh, it will be given to you. Uh, our Father is not stingy. Our Father is generous, he's, uh, and He's rich. He's got everything. And sometimes he just wait for us to ask, right? Uh, sometimes he he wants us to get out there and find it. And we cannot stay in one place and not seeking. Uh, how 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 can we find it if we're not seeking? And if we don't knock, how shall it be open to us? Uh, imagine, right? God has prepared a lot of good things for you and then he just give it to you without you asking then you would not know that it's from God himself because uh, you would just take it for granted you would just say oh it just happened but if you pray to God and say Lord please give me this or that and then when you get it uh, so then then you you will know that it's it's from the Father okay so uh, do ask, but remember, do not ask in a way that you know you repeat again and again, thinking that the more you repeat, then the more you be hurt. Even you ask just once, uh, you have been hurt already. And just receive by faith. Uh, just wait for it, okay? Uh, and and consider that it's been done. Alright guys, uh, we're going to verse 8. Uh, this verse 8 is repeat again what this verse 7 say, but uh, kind of like emphasize or elaborate on it. Bas gao o etan, all of uh, those who ask, lamvani, uh, receive. Ke o and those who, uh, and the one who um, Sick and risky, and um, mean he's fine. And to cruelly and the one who knock, anigis uh, anigis there. Um, anigis, sorry, anigis says that. I mean it's open for you. It is Eston Eximon and Throbos. Whoever among you. Um, you uh, which man amongst you uh, on a TC or yours of two are done uh, his son uh, is asking for bread I mean literally below self door uh, then uh, he, he is going he's gonna give him uh, the rock EK thin a TC or NR the fish he asked me often the snake uh, would he give it to him he only missed boniri on this uh, therefore you uh, who are evil either the domata gatha din on is techno simon you can uh, give good gifts uh, to your son to your children how much more your father or antisuranis who is in heaven uh, who, who would give the good thing the good uh, to those who ask him so he's saying here you know even if you are evil you would still good good things to your children now, how much more, you know, God our Father, who is the, uh, who would, uh, who is absolutely not evil, and who is good Father, you know, He would, uh, He would give us all the the good things that we ask of Him. So do ask, guys. This is the secret here. Uh, it's not the gospel of prosperity. It's the gospel of faith. Right? You trust, you ask and you trust God um, that he, he hurt you and He will reward your faith. And just by asking, 
It's an act of faith. Okay. Asking is an act of faith. So remember that because if you don't believe God can give you, you would not ask anyway. You'll be insane, you will be religious, you just pray for the sake of praying and uh, you just pray for the because of, uh, of out of habit, of religious habit and not because you really believe God can, can, can give you but if you ask seriously, asking God, that's an act of faith if you ask and believe that He is able, He can, He has the ability to give it to you, right? And, of course, if you believe that, you would ask, and you know you would, you know that he can give it. You would ask. That's a faith, all right. Banda un osa in all things, therefore, osa antelite in abuse ni misanthropy. I'll check in the dictionary a bit in this. Okay, uh, this is, in English is called the golden rule. Uh, all the things that you want uh, the, uh, the man to do to you, right? All the things, therefore, that you want in it, uh, the man to, to do to you. Utos que mes be te aptus. These are the things you also do for them. Uga estin no nomos ki profite. Utoska, this is this step is the law and the prophet, right? So this is what the law, what's been the five book, the first five book of the New, the Old Testament, and the prophet. And that's been the and that's what the commandment is. That's what the scripture is. Okay. So this is the sum. Of all the scripture, uh, that's mean that's mean act of love. Everything that you want other people to do to you, yeah? do to other the thing that you want them to do to you. So, do to other all the things that you want people to do to you. This is the golden rule. It's not just a rule; it's a command. All right. God and command. I call it command because they say do me. And you know, um, a lot of uh, religious commands say don't do this, don't do that, don't do the others. But here, the Bible is saying do this, but not only do uh, anything, but do the thing that you want other people to do to you. So, in other words, do good things to others. Okay, we jump into a very important um, part uh, of the teaching. Enter through the narrow gate. Oti platia bili ke evro evri koros i odot i apagusa istina bolen. The the gate is because the gate is wide and the road is wide, then it will lead to destruction. Ke poli isin i isat komani biyati. And those who enter it is is a lot. You know, are many. So enter the narrow gate. Well, this is what our Lord is teaching, and this is what we should be focused on doing. And beside all the other uh, tradition, church tradition, and uh, liturgy, and um, you know the usual church thing that you do. Focus on doing what the Lord teach first. Uh, enter the narrow gate. Okay, and then there's uh, walk the narrow 
uh, path. There's, narrow, there's a narrow gate and there's a narrow path. So, once you've been saved, once you've been born again, regenerated, have been changed, experience the change from inside, um, that's when you enter the narrow gate. Uh, it's a one-off thing that you, once you're inside, you're inside. But, once you're inside, there's a narrow path to follow, a narrow road. And that is not a one-off, it's a continuous thing. So, you have to continue to walk on that narrow path. Uh, now, uh, there are theologians who say, once you're saved, you're always saved. Uh, no matter what you do, your salvation is secured and, uh, and you will always be saved. Um, however, it's a dangerous, dangerous uh, thing to think in that way. It may be true. In certain way, it may be true because God can keep you and secure you. Uh, but you have to remain on the narrow path. Uh, all people say, it doesn't say you can get off the narrow path, but on the other hand, it doesn't say that you cannot not get off. So, keep yourself on the narrow path. Alright? Um, there's a narrow road to walk until all the, until the end where you get life, right? So the narrow gate is the knee verse fourteen. Uh, it or the bully. Uh, internationally, they they read bully. They, it doesn't sound good. A bully. Ke thethli many iodos i agabus i abagusa istin zoin. The, the narrow gate and uh, sorry yeah uh, the narrow gate and the narrow path uh, leads to life okay one road leads to destruction and one road leads to life and you cannot get on any of the road until you enter its gate so which gate have you entered which gate have you entered to be on that road you have to enter the gate you have to choose the right gate to enter first and then after that you have to walk the, on the right road uh, so after you have entered on the right gate you will you will walk on the right road but you have to walk it and that's what I mean you have to keep walking on it uh, keep yourself on that road until you go, uh, you get to life uh, because it leads to life it says here, all legi isin i ebriskunas atin. Only a few are those who find her, find the bath. All right. right. The bath is in uh, in feminine form. Okay. Next one. A tree and its fruit. Very, very important to know these guys so that you can tell the real from the fake. Okay, processes that be careful about on pseudo profiton from the false prophet. Uh, false prophet is one word in Greek here. Eating as echo the prosimas and and demas in provaton, as of them they is in leaky abages. That those who come to you uh, in sheep clothing, but inside they are uh, uh, snatching wolf. Um, so let, let me let me find this word again. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, the English word is ravenous wolf. All right. Uh, so. Be careful of the false prophet uh, because they are among you and they're in, in sheep clothing right they, they want to they, 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 they dress up as one of your brothers uh, they in the church guys they, the false prophet is not out there okay they have come in they, they, they infiltrate the church okay and this is the important thing Aboton carbon, sorry. Aboton carbon means from its fruit. Aboton from 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 their fruit. A big nose that you you should know. 
them. Okay. Okay. Oh, therefore, yeah. Out of their fruits, you should know them. Okay, if they make a bad fruit, you know they are bad trees. Uh, we keep going. Uh, verse 16. Okay. Meat is illegal in Abo Akanthon Stafilas, Iabo Trivolon Sika. Do you gather grapes from the thorns, from the um, uh, yeah, thorn bushes? Uh, the thorn bushes. Okay, or you get fig uh, from the three stalks? No. Alright, you cannot. So from its fruit, and you gotta watch people uh, watch their fruit, so you know whether they steal the flesh, if they are of the devil or of God. Especially look at humility and kindness and love, meekness, all those qualities are from the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. But if you look at greediness, you look at uh, Control. You look at some um, lust. You look at uh, you know anger. You all those things are not of God. So you have to watch people fruit to know who they are. Okay. Seventeen. Utus ban dendron agathon carbus calus b. But all the uh, all the good tree, right? For this saying, all the good tree produce good fruit, right? So there's a bron dendron carbus bonerus b. But the the bad tree make evil fruit. Uh, using the word evil here, not bad, but evil bonerus. So the the you know, the bad tree will produce evil fruit. So not talking about the tree here, talking about people, right? False prophet. So you look at their fruit. If they a a dishonest person cannot pretend to be honest forever. If that's not his nature, he will he will have to act out his dishonesty. Right? Otherwise, you'd be a real honest person. Uh, so, um, you know, a, a greedy person will sooner or later show their greediness. Right? Um, so, you can see the fruit. Uh, you cannot pretend to be a wise person when you're not wise. You can. People can tell. So, the same with qualities. You cannot pretend to be good, be kind. Forever, um, because that's not your nature. You will go against your nature soon. Uh, uh, sorry, you will go with your nature against your pretend soon. So people will soon know. Uh, they will soon know who are the real kind and loved one. Uh, now a lot of people have been deceived because they do not live close to the real uh, kind person. So they think everyone is bad. But if they live close to the kind person, then they will see the contrast, right? So uh, that's how you tell when you tell the real thing and the fake thing by compare it to the real thing. And you've got to know the real thing before you can compare it with the bad thing. So uh, if when you study about fake money, you don't gather all the fake money in the world and study each of them because every, every day they change and they getting smarter and smarter and more uh, more and more the more and more variation so you 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 study by studying the real money how it is and what's the exact quality of it and everything so when you compare to the fake one you know straight away it's fake because it's got 
defect. It's got different qualities. Okay, uh, we'll keep going. Verse 18. Oh, Vina said, it is not possible. Uh, dendron, the tree, Agathon, the good tree, Carbus Ponerus bean, uh, uh, produce bad fruit, produce evil fruit. Ude dendron sabron carbus carlos bean. Okay, or the bad tree uh, produce a good fruit. Okay, we keep going. Uh, Nineteen. Okay. Ban uh, ban dendron me biun kalon kalon ekop. Uh, ekopte, ekoptete, ke is beer valete. Um, all the tree that do not produce good fruit uh, is cut down, cut away, cut away, you know, not just cut, ekoptete, cut away, and put into fire. So, very very serious here uh, you have no choice but being a good tree otherwise you'll be cut down you'll be put in fire uh, there's no way around it right no choice guys you have to change yourself if you produce bad fruit repent and ask god to change your heart because in your heart that's come out if your heart is bad and you don't repent, this will be your uh, your end result. You will be cut down and put in the fire. Agage apotokarbonaton aptus. This is repeated again the uh, the previous verse. From their fruit you shall know them. From their fruit you shall know them. So watch their fruit. Okay. And the more you do it, the more sensitive uh, you become in, in detecting and discerning uh, the spirit. Uh, you can tell straight away, uh, very quickly, people who are going to uh, who are evil or who are good because uh, you become like professional detective you you can tell the signs uh, in everyone uh, no matter they how much they, they hide it you can tell uh, just like body language right people who are expert in body language can always tell when you are honest or when you lie the same thing is spiritual language uh, spiritual language you can always sense uh, someone who is going to be uh, producing good fruit or not because they are telltale you know when they start flowering you can already tell what kind of flower it is what kind of color it is right so the qualities will uh, permeate and permeate uh, will, will, will shine out the good quality will shine out and bad quality will be shown will be disclosed Okay, uh, now we get to the most serious verse in the whole chapter. Not everyone who pass legon, uh, not everyone who say to me, Kyrie, Kyrie, Master, Master, Lord, Lord, the celebrity is Tin Vasilian to Nuranon, can enter the kingdom of the heavens. Uh, Kingdom of the heavens, plural heavens. Uh, the kingdom of the heavens. Not everyone to say to the Lord King Yeshua, Lord, Lord, my King, my King, can enter His kingdom. That's what He's saying here. Not everyone. Allah opium to thelema to patrosmo to entis uranis. But only, uh, only those who do the will of my Father who is in the heavens. So, in order to enter His kingdom, enter heaven, 
you must do the will of the Father. That's what the Bible is saying here clearly. You must do the will of the Father. And what's the will of the Father? Read again Matthew 5, 6, 7. Right? What Jesus is teaching. Because the Father is saying, listen to my son. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. So if you do not listen to what Jesus teaches and do not do what Jesus teach, then forget about him. Okay? Uh, now, we've got one issue. We are saved by grace, alright? That's what I believe. Because without the work of Jesus, the Lord Yeshua, my King Yeshua, uh, I cannot enter heaven. It doesn't matter what I do, I cannot enter heaven. But, okay, it's saying here, if I don't do the will of the Father, I cannot enter heaven. So it sounds like contradiction, but it's not. Because to believe in Jesus also means to obey Him. To believe in Jesus also means to know who He is. He's the King, so we have to be subject to Him. Faith and obedience goes hand in hand, and it's almost the same thing. You know, Abraham obeyed God, believed God, he obeyed Him. Noah believed God, he obeyed Him. Right? So, uh, faith and obedience is the condition. Uh, it's not by good works. That's different. Obedience is not good works. Obedience is do what God tells you to do. Good works mean you just want to do good, all right, and, but don't want to listen to God. That's different. Now, uh, another thing is different. Grace is given freely and it comes with goodness in the package. So, grace transforms you. Okay? To become good. Okay, if you don't believe me, read Ephesians uh, 2.10. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, talk about grace and read verse 10. Okay, because if you accept Jesus' um, uh, sacrifice, it also means you accept that you leave your sins behind. Because He paid for your sin. You don't want to keep sinning because you want to exchange that uh, with him. He, you exchange the payment for your sins, all right? And you also ex accept the transformation. You agree to leave this, your sins behind, but you also accept to be changed into the, the people, who, uh, person who God wants you to be. So, um, okay, how do I say this? God's grace, right, is not just about forgiving your sins. It's about to change you, get you out of sins, and putting you into righteousness, into a holy life. Right, uh, you you before you were slave to sin, and when grace take you out of sin, you're not free. You now instead of slave to sin, you are slave to righteousness, and that's the whole point. You're not free to go back to sin. Right? you're not free to free to do whatever you want. You're not free to sin whenever you want. Uh, you accept grace, mean you accept to become a slave to righteousness. God will force you to do the right thing because you have chosen to be forced to do the right thing. Okay, that's how it is. You either be one or the other. So, those who do not do the will of the Father, uh, they are still lawless, they are still evil. They, they haven't changed even though 
they can still use God's name to do miracle. Okay, the miracles are done because God's name is powerful, and people have find out that yes, they can use God's name to do miracles. Um, uh, case in point, uh, Judah Iscariot, one of the twelve, when he uh, when he was one of the twelve who were sent out to do miracle healings and cast out demon, right? And the seventy or seventy two were sent out. Uh, well, he was part of them. He was part of them. He was doing miracles. But he will not enter heaven because he does not the will of the Father. He does he 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 follow a different way, right? That's how it is. Okay. So uh, a lot of people use this verse to discredit miracles or healing and say, okay, if healing is not important, uh, that's not that's not what it's saying here. That's not the context here. Healing is important just as the medication is important to someone who is in excruciating pain. All right, uh, ask a ask a person who uh, who is in pain excruciating pain, unbearable pain, how important is the painkiller? Ask a sick person how important is his doctor, right? He would want his doctor. So healing is very important to help people, to minister to people, right? to, 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 to serve people, give a lot to people through the gifts. So the gifts are very important. But just because the gifts are given for free and it's important doesn't mean you're going to be saved through that. Uh, it just means uh, you're given a gift to, to serve others and, and how you serve, how you respond to God is personal between you and God. How, you, how you're going to obey or not is uh, between you and God. Uh, so it, it does not uh, show your spiritual level, uh, okay, some people today, there's a misconception saying you must be super, super, super anointed to be able to do signs and wonders and miracles. That's not true. Uh, like I said, Judas, Judas Iscariot wasn't a, a, a super anointed, uh, spiritually mature person to do signs and wonders. Uh, even the 12 disciples, not, uh, they're not perfect people, alright? So the worst the worst of them is Judas betray God, and the best of them is Peter, who who deny him three times. And what about the rest? The rest is not better than Peter. They run away. They they abandon Jesus when uh, when he was arrested. Only Peter follow through, tag along to find out what's happening to him, right? So, and then we have the uh, the denial, three time denial event. But you see, God used imperfect people, and that's the truth. God used imperfect men and women to do His work and His will, because men are not perfect, women are not perfect. And yet God used us to serve Him and serve others, and show His love and mercy and grace to others through us. Uh, but how we going to respond to God is on a personal level. Okay guys, so very important, not everyone who say to God, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of the Father who is in heaven. Uh, Boli a Russian me, many will ask me, and a king it in Mera in those day, in that day, uh, Lord, Lord, or my king, my king, my master, master, Uto so nomate, is it not in your name a prophet, a prophet testament? We prophesy. Keto so nomate in your name, demonia equivalent. Uh, demon we cast out. Get also ono onomate and in your name, the name is Bolas Abisaman. Do a lot of uh, signs and wonder. The uh, name means power, like uh, like wonder things. Uh, 
que toda a homologia of this oath and then I shall say to them that who they bought their acknowledgement I never knew you I never knew you right uh, I never know you right we uh, okay I never knew you he said to them, I never knew you, Abohorite, Abohemu, Iergazomeni, Tinonomia. Depart from me, uh, the worker of lawlessness. Okay, the word anomia here is from the word nomos and plus the negative in the front. This means without law, okay? Uh, no law, lawlessness. Those who do the work of uh, lawlessness, the worker of lawlessness. All right, we move on. The house on the rock. Pass on us this akum akuimu to slower tutors. Those who hear this word, this word. What are this word? And this word are the one he just talked about from verse from chapter five. To seven, those who hear these words, right, and does them, uh, is like the man who uh, one who is wise, a wise man, uh, who 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 built he called Domicen up to, uh, who built his house in Ikien, uh, a bit in Petra on the rock. Kekatevi uh, ibrohi and rain come down. And the flood will come. Botami right. uh, also in, in, uh, mean river. So in uh, the flood, the river comes. And the wind blew. Uh, so that, that house will fall down. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry. Come to the wind to, to push again, uh, push, push to push down the house, but it do not flow. So it's, it's the word here, prosepis, and the wind push down. Okay, the house standing on the rock, so the wind push down the house, but the house doesn't fall uh, because the foundation, the the familiato, got in a bit. A uh, guy a bit in better because it's been built uh, like foundation on the rock. All right. So there's two cases here. I'm gonna read the second case. In the case of the wise man, right? Hear the word. Hear his word. And and thus his word. Okay. And yes, we have uh, wind, rain, flood. Wind, rain, and floods. But it's not a foundation. So, the question here, the question here, is Jesus' word his foundation? Is Jesus' word his foundation? And I'm going to say no. 
No. Uh, we, we, we shall see. Let's read further and you will see. Que pas o acuan motus lovus tutus que me beyond aptus. Okay? The full person is all. All those who hear his word. Do not do it. Can you see the difference? The wise man also hears his word, the fool also hears his word. Both of them have got the Lord's teaching. Both of them have got his word. But, but it's in the action that is the foundation. It's in the action. You have to do or do not do, and that makes you a wise or fool person. That's the word of God for you. Okay, it's in the action. That is the foundation. Okay, the, all those who hear the word and do not do it is like the man who, who is foolish, uh, who build his house on the sand, Ammon, the sand. And the rain comes, and uh, the flood comes. So we do have uh, rain here, flood, right? Uh, and the wind flow. So the same same uh, environment, same situation, same trial, same everything, right? Same uh, uh, hardship, temptations, trial, whatever you want to call the the the, uh, the circumstances, right? It's the same, right? But it break the house. For the sake of sin, then the house, it broke the house, and and it fall down, and the fall is great. It's not just fall; it's a great fall because there's no foundation. There's no foundation, right? It's built on sand. That's the foundation there, the sand. It's got no foundation. So the work, this one, has got the work. The foundation is the do, that's the work. And here, sand, no work. Okay, now uh, we're not talking about salvation here anymore. Right? Salvation is always based on the work of the Lord Yeshua. Uh, if, if it's not uh, thanks to His work, His sacrifice, his redemption, his blood, uh, we are not bought, uh, our sins is not paid for, um, and uh, no matter how much good work we do, we will still be not be saved, guaranteed. So we are not saved by good works, uh, not at all. But here is something it's saying here. There's those who do God's work and uh, follow His teaching and those who don't. And this is the result showing who have been saved and who have not. Because uh, it, it's not about the work to be saved, but about showing who, have, who is being saved or will be saved and who is not. Okay? Uh, you've got to be Think of yourself, which one are you? The wise person or the foolish one? Okay. Que again ito o te etelesan o Jesus tus logos tutus when he's finished talking about all these uh, words, and plural, plural words, uh, except please and all the awfully, the crowd was surprised. Right? He, they were surprised. A bit in the other key after about his teaching. That's what I call teaching of Yeshua. And if you're not surprised, I'll be surprised. <laughs> right? 
it, it, there's no other teaching like this in the world. There's, this kind of teaching does not come out of an ordinary mortal man. Uh, it's got to be from above. In Gadidas Mangatus Os Exusia, because he teaches them with power and authority, with authority, and not like the the scribe, not like the grammatis, not like the scribe. So Jesus' teaching has got authority. He's got he teaches with authority, and now we are not teaching. We are passing on. Jesus teaching. I'm not a teacher. I'm just passing on the message. All right. Uh, Jesus is the author, and I'm just a photocopier. I'm just printing out and the flies and give up. Right. Uh, the content is Jesus, not me. Okay. Uh, and you can do the same too. You can pass this on to other, and that you are commanded to do actually in Matthew twenty-eight twenty. Uh, the Great Commission to teach other everything. Everything means everything that Jesus uh, taught us. Uh, so, please share. At the least you can do is share. If you cannot sit down with someone and go through word by word uh, out of Jesus' teaching, at least share this video so they can go straight to the teaching. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for listening and. Uh, See you again. Alright, God bless.